Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is my friends and being safe and before we get into any lessons grade ones we know that we have to sanitize so let us sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we'll be doing geometry length and reading For our lesson today, boys and girls, let us begin on page 12. On page 12, we are going to be doing our geometry, 2D shapes. Now, as you can see, we have the shapes and then we have some questions to answer. The first part of our questions is to complete what is missing in terms of the information of each shape. And then after that, we are going to draw the shape and color it in the blank box next to it. So I'm going to help you with the first part. So let's try and do it together. Now the first part is asking for the shape's name and then it goes to the corners and the sides. So we are going to start with the name. The first shape we can see is called a square. Now a square way is the one that we can see in yellow on the board a square has how many corners let's count this part is called a corner where we can see a sharp edge edge <laughs> so let's count and see how many edges or sharp corners we have one two three four so for the square we can say that we have four corners and then we need to count the sides. It also says it has dash sides. Let's see how many sides it has. One, two, three, four sides. So it also has four sides. So we know that that shape's name is a square and then it has four corners and four sides. Let's move on to the next shape. The next shape we can see is round and this one is called a circle. We already know that, but we need to find out how many corners and how many sides a circle has. Let's count. Are there any corners to count? <laughs> no. So a circle has no corners. So we're going to write the number zero. And then we need to count how many sides. Now remember, sides is what we can actually see going across or round. In this case, 
it only has one side, the one that we can see. So it is a one. Let's move on to the next shape. The next shape is a triangle. You can see that it says triangle. So write the name of the shape and then after that we need to find the corners. One, two, three. So a triangle has three corners. Then we need to count the sides. We have one, two, three. We also have three sides. So now that we are done with that one, I'm going to leave the rectangle up to you. Make sure that you count both the corners and the sides carefully, as well as write the shape's name neatly. When you're done with that one, we can move on to the next exercise. By the way, don't forget to actually draw it in the box. There is a blank box that's waiting for you in your exercise so you can draw the shape again. When you're done with that one, I want you to move on to the next page, page 13. On page 13, we're going to be doing length. Now the type of length we're going to be using is our hand span. We have to measure three things with our hand span. A table, a chair, and a book. So before we start measuring what we actually going to measure, let's find out what a span looks like. Let's take a look. Now this is your hand and your hand can be used sometimes to measure things. If you turn your hand to the side, you can actually measure something using your hand span. Your hand span is normally from your thumb to your longest finger. So if I were to see how long my hand span is, I can put it on the board and I can draw a line from my thumb where it starts to my longest finger. There we go. So this is my hand span. That's how long one hand span is, this one. So I'm going to be measuring the table, the chair and a book using my hand span. Let's start with the table. Now, as you can see in the classroom, we have our beautiful table and we're going to use this table to measure our hand span. If you have a table at home, it's okay. You can use your hand span as well. Remember, we measure from our thumb to our longest finger. And then you can measure any kind of table. You can measure the table in your room if you have one, or the dining room table if there's one, or the kitchen table, or the one that is in the living room, any table. So we're going to measure how long this table is with the hand span. We're going to start with one, two, three. Can you see I'm using my other hand to measure where my thumb stops so that my longest finger can go there. So far, let's start again. We put it at the edge of the table, then we say one, stretch out your hand, two, again, three, very good, four, we're almost there, five, six, seven, and a half, seven and a half. So I'm just going to put it at seven because that's how many full hand spans we have. So for the table, I'm going to write my answer as seven hand spans. Now we need to measure the chair. So the chair that we have here, I'm going to measure from one end to the other end. I'm going to use my hand span again. Start from the edge, then place my hand span and I say one, 
two, three. So there are three handstands for the chair. I'm going to put three. Now our numbers are not going to be the same because my hands are a little bit bigger than yours. So make sure that you actually measure yours at your house. The last thing that we're going to measure is a book. I have a beautiful book here with me and I'm going to measure how many handspans. I have one. So one handspan for my book. That is the one that I'm going to write for the book. Let's now go back into our exercise and see what else we're going to measure. The next part of our measuring the length is to measure with the footsteps for the following things. The first thing we need to measure is a car. Now we know cars, we've seen them all around and some of you, your parents even have cars. So we're going to measure the car. But how? The handspan seems to be too small for the car. So instead, we're going to use our footsteps. Now when you're measuring with your footsteps, let's pretend my hands are feet for now. If one foot is there, so that is one, one foot, then to measure the next foot, I must step right next to the other foot. So it is going to be from the toes, then your heel is going to touch your toes. And then from your toes to your heel, from your toes to your heel, as you measure with your feet. I can't do it with a car because we don't have a car in the classroom. But what I can do is the second one, where it's asking to measure one side of the room. And we have one side of the room. So I'm going to start at the corner right here, and I'm going to use my feet to measure. So you can count with me, or you can actually do it in your room as well. Go to the corner of the room and start there. I'm going to start by standing straight and trying to make my heel touch right at the side of the room. Then I'm going to say one, two, remember to put your heel and your toe right next to each other and try to balance three, four, five, six, uh oh. <laughs> Seven, there we go. Eight, keep your balance. Nine, ten, eleven, there we go. Twelve, I'm almost there. Thirteen, fourteen, almost there. Fifteen, remember your toe and your heel must touch. 16 and 17. <laughs> Hello, you had missed me, I'm sure. <laughs> so it's 17, 17 footsteps. So I'm going to write the number 17. And that is our measuring. So don't forget to try and measure by yourself your span and also your foot. Take your time. If you need to do it again because you lost your balance or you forgot where you were counting from, that's okay. Just make sure you write the correct number. Have fun and I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. <music>
And then the third time when we read it, we are trying to make sure that our answers are correct. So, let us begin with our heading. We're going to take it slow and I want you to follow me either with your finger or your pencil. My friend. My friend's name is Ben. Ben is a great friend. He is five years old. Ben plays soccer. We have so much fun together. So this is our comprehension passage and it is about Ben. So let's now read our questions. We will read our questions two times. The first one says, what is my friend's name? What is my friend's name? Number two says, how old is he? How old is he? Number three says, what does he play? What does he play? Well done. Now that we have read our questions, let's go back into our story to try and find our answers. We will start at the heading. Remember to follow me with your pencil or your finger. My friend. My friend's name is Ben. Ben is a great friend. He is five years old. Ben plays soccer. We have so much fun together. If you were listening, I'm sure you have already found your answers. So try and answer your questions now by yourselves. Then when you are done, read the story again to make sure that your answers are correct. Take your time, boys and girls, and if you need any help, it's okay to ask for it. But make sure you answer your questions by yourself. Have fun, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. I know I did. Just make sure that when you are confused or you don't know what to do, you ask an adult for help. Please though, make sure that you finish your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, we can sanitize. Sanitizing is not just for little children, it's also for adults as well. So if you have a parent or a guardian with you, when you're sanitizing, encourage them to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi said he was going to come and say goodbye, but I haven't seen him the whole time, have you? Sashi? Oh, hello Sashi. We want to say goodbye to our friends. Do you think you can help me? Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Let us sing goodbye. 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 It's time to say goodbye. 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 It's 
time to say goodbye. Bye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.